How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Battle Stadium Ranked Session. Today we're using the same team as last time so hopefully it goes well. If you want to use the team use the rental code at the top right corner of the screen. And please like and subscribe for more double daily videos from me. And we found our first opponent Uta. They've got a pretty cool looking team. Looks like Gengar is going to do some work here though if we get the Dragapult out of the way. Um, the, uh, obviously the Garganacle's there, but we can deal with that, and the Protean Meowth is also a bit of a pain to deal with, but whatever, 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 whatever. And the battle begins, so Uta over there is going to lead off with whatever that is, which is of course the Cerulege and a Beast Ball. We led off with Electro, so this has actually worked out really nicely for us, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to Terrestrize right off the bat, same as we did the last session. And I'm going to go for a Terra Ground just to get some super effective damage off on this Cerule Edge. So there we go. We're going to Terrestrialize real quick. They do stay in, which is interesting. I wonder what they're going to do um, as we're going to Terrestrialize real quick into a nice and powerful Ground type. Got that big globe on our head. I, lo I love the Ground type. How, how I love how it's like it's like the Earth, but then you've got the Inner Crust, the, the got the Core, all that stuff. So they go for a Swords Dance on us, which is absolutely fine. They do have Speeders, which is unfortunate. Um, but then again, we're not max speed or anything like that, as we can go for a Terra Blast now. Nice and stab ground type move. Should do a lot of damage to them. They have got respectable special defense, but it does a lot of damage regardless, which is amazing. So probably going to see a, um, a bit of blade right now, but absolutely fine. We'll go for another Terra Blast, see if we can live. See if we can live. They go for a bit of blade. That's probably going to take us out, but it is what it is at the end of the day. As um, they get some nice and powerful recovery on the health, which is absolutely amazing for them. Not so great for us. So Electros goes down, which is a real shame. We might actually get swept by the Cerulege first game. Can you imagine? That'd just be awful. That'd be awful. So I'm going to go into Backscalibur. And the reason I'm going into Backscalibur is simple. We are not resistant to their attacks, but we are pretty... Good. So we'll go for a Glaive Rush real quick and we'll see what's going to happen here. So we actually outspeed, go for a Glaive Rush. That's going to easily take them out, no problem, which is absolutely great. I always underestimate Backscalibur's speed. I always overestimate Cerulege's speed. It's kind of like a double-edged sword, which is pretty ironic to say, considering the massive sword on the back of our Pokemon. In comes whatever that is, which is, of course, the Meow Scarada. This thing's going to go for a Stab Play Rough on us. I just know it, but it's absolutely fine. We're going to go for a Dragon Dance anyway. And hope for the best. They go for the play rough. It's actually not stabbed because the protein doesn't activate. Um, but it still takes us out, which tells me they're choice banded, which is absolutely fine. Um, I'm thinking Gengar now. Really thinking Gengar. So we're going to Gengar real quick and hope they haven't got... We are choice specs. We don't outspeed, but they should be locked in based on that play rough damage. So I'm going to hope they haven't got the Supreme King Overlord, King Gambit. And I'm going to go for a Sludge Bomb. I think that's the only way I'm going to get around this. So we go for a Sludge Bomb. We do outspeed. Take out the Meowth Scarada, which is absolutely amazing. There we go. So hopefully they don't have the King Gambit. If they do have the King Gambit, we've lost. What are they going to go into? What is that? What is that? What is that? The Rotom Wash. Okay, we can deal with that. We can deal with that. So let's go for a Sludge Bomb real quick. And we should be able to live a Hydro Pump from this thing. No problem. We should outspeed, even if they're not choice. Even if they're choice. They're actually going to Terrestrialize. What type are they going to go into? Ghost? Because Ghost is one of the default types of Rotom, so it would be, wouldn't it? No, they go into Electric. Okay, interesting. So, even if they're choice specs, we should still outspeed and hope that our Sludge Bomb will take them out. So, let's go for the Sludge Bomb real quick. Does take them out, and that's a W for the first game. Absolutely phenomenal. Yes! That's what we like to see. We're moving up in the ranks, ladies and gentlemen. And there we go. We're nearly at rank 5 Pokeball tier. Can't wait. And we found our second opponent. They've got a pretty banging looking team. Uh, a lot of bulk on there. They've got the Dundun Sparse and stuff like that. It's going to be a pretty tough battle, but I think we can pull it off. And the second battle commences, so our opponent's going to lead off with their Tentascrawl. Toad Scroll, sorry, not Tentacruel. As we let off with Backscalibur, we're in a very good position right now. We can just easily go for an Ice Cool Crash, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. No reason to overpredict. They can't spore us because the spore has negative priority on this thing. So Ice School Crash is going to go ahead and take them out. They probably went for a spore there expecting a Dragon Dance, but nope, 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 nope. In comes the whatever that is, which is going to be the Dunsparce. So Dunsparce comes in, probably going to see a Glare or something. I'm going to go for a Glaive Rush just to get some damage off before it starts coiling. They actually go for a Smart Strike, which is going to do a decent chunk of damage to us. Um, but Glaive Rush is going to come through and do some more damage to them. 
Nearly takes them out, in fact. I wish I had Ice Shard now. Um, Smart Strike's coming, though, so I'm going to go into Volcarona real quick. Um, Smart Strike is obviously going to be super effective against Baxcalibur, but not on our Volcarona. And we might even get the Burn, which would be amazing. So we'll go into Volcarona real quick. There we go. As uh, they go for a Smart Strike, that's going to do minimal damage to Volcarona. And we might get the Burn. We do get the Burn. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. So what we can do now is, knowing this thing can't touch us, and that it's going to die after the next turn... We can easily go for a Quiver Dance here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. There we go. Go for a Quiver Dance real quick. Get some nice boosts to our special attack, special defense, and speed. There we go. Let's see what they're going to do to us. Probably a Hyper Drill, right? Just to get damage off. As they go for another Smart Strike, which is, of course, going to do minimal damage to us after the burn. As uh, they're going to go down to the burn this turn. No, they don't. Interesting. So they don't go down to the burn. But it's fine. We'll just go for a Fiery Dance and take them out. There we go. Fiery Dance comes through. Lovely jovely, lovely jovely. Can we get a special attack boost? I don't think we do. I don't think we do. No, we don't. That's a shame. In comes whatever that is, which is, of course, the low kicks. Low kicks is in a bit of a pickle right now because it can't really do much to us other than first impression. So we'll go for a fiery dance and hopefully take this thing out. As uh, they're going to actually terrestrialize, what type are they going to terrestrialize into? There, that's the real question. Are they going to go rock type or something? What type would you go into here? Bug. That's not going to work out nicely for him. I suppose they're trying to get the Trashalize first impression off. Which makes sense. Makes sense. Um, as they go for the first impression, that's going to be Trashalize boosted. Will it KO us? It KOs us? But we get the Flame Body. Awesome. I can't believe that KO'd us though. Wow. Low Kicks has some power behind it. Oh, Tinted Lens. Tinted Lens, of course. Damn. That thing's powerful. That thing is truly powerful. Wow. But we do get the burn, which is absolutely amazing. So what we can do now is we can just go into Gengar. They can't go for a first impression again, obviously, because it only works on the first time you come in. Um, so we should be able to just go straight for a nice and powerful Sludge Bomb and take this, this thing out. There we go. Sludge Bomb comes through. Even if they went for a Sucker Punch there, it wouldn't have mattered because they're burned. Going to take out the low kicks, and that is going to be it for the second game. We got another W. Let's get smash that like button for a W in the chat or whatever. I don't know. I'm talking like a streamer now. And just like that, we're rank 5 in the Pokeball tier. And we're actually half, well, more than halfway to the rank 6, which is amazing. And here's our next opponent. They've got a pretty solid looking team. Gengar looks like it'll have some fun here. Although the Dragapult is going to be difficult to get around. Um, but we should be good. We're definitely bringing Gengar. I'm wondering what to lead with, though. And the battle begins. So my opponent over there is going to lead off with whatever that is, which is the Rotom. As I led off with the back Scalibur, obviously we don't want to get burned here, so I'm not going to stay in. I'm going to go ahead and switch straight into Gengar. Gengar can obviously take care of this Rotom, no problem. We, 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 we proved that in the last session. So we're going to withdraw back Scalibur, or the last game more than like, uh, more, more so. Um, we're going to go into Gengar real quick. Gengar can obviously absorb the burn, doesn't care too much about it. As they go for a Volt Switch, which is fair. That does, wow, mega damage. Okay. Gengar was definitely going to be a powerful asset for our team, but not anymore. Damn. So in comes whatever that is, which is, of course, going to be the Dragapult. Um, we aren't Choice Scarf. We're Choice Specs. We're just going to have to let Gengar go down here, I think. Unless we outspeed somehow. Maybe they're, like, modest or something. We're going to go for a U-turn, which is, of course, going to take out Gengar. But this is a good thing. It means we're going to get some um, initiative on whatever they bring in. So, Gengar, you won't go down in vain. I promise you I'll win this battle somehow. In comes whatever that is, which is, of course, going to be the Rotom again. Why wouldn't it be? Um, I'm going to go into Veluza. The reason I'm going into Veluza is because we can obviously go for a Trash Rise in Dark. Um, but we don't want to do that just yet. How do we? Do we want to do that yet? Yeah, let's Trash Rise and go for a... Which one's more powerful? Probably... Um, the Night Slash, because if they go into the get, if they go into the Dragapult, then we're going to be all right. There we go, going to Terrestrialize real quick. They probably go for a Volt Switch here, but I think we might outspeed them because they're only a Rotom Wash, and it's the Rotom regular form that's the faster one. Um, so we might be all right. Um, we also might not be. So let's see how much damage we take and how much damage we do. We go for a Night Slash. That's going to go first, which is awesome. Um, there we go. Night Slash comes through. It's going to do half. As they're going to go for a Volt Switch and switch out into something else. Well, that does a lot of damage. That must be Choice Specs. It's got to be Choice Specs. 
In comes whatever that is, which is, of course, going to be the Garnacle. Um, Garganacle, whatever you call it. Um, I'm wondering whether or not we can go for an, uh, a safe Aqua Cutter here. So we'll go for an Aqua Cutter and see what happens. There we go. Go for an Aqua Cutter. Let's see how much damage we're doing. Oh, just under half. So the losers are kind of underestimating. Oh, they go for a Fisher. That doesn't work because we are just... It's only got like 30 accuracy. Why, why are people going for Fisher and stuff like that on this rank ladder? I don't understand it at all. Um, so they're going to get some leftovers recovery, which is good to know that they're leftovers. Um, we can go for another Aqua Cutter here, uh, which is absolutely fine. Aqua Cutter should do a lot more damage this time. They're actually going to terrestrialize their Garganacle, which is interesting. I wonder what type they're going to turn into. What type are they turning into? A ghost type. Interesting. So they go into a ghost type, which is fine by me. Um, it means that our Aqua Cutter is actually going to do less damage this turn due to the um, super effectiveness. And now they're going to go for a recover. So that's absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. That's that's what we got to deal with, ladies and gentlemen. We've got to deal with Garganacle that we just can't break through. Going for all sorts of shenanigans. Um, as they're probably going to go for another Fisher this turn. But I'm going to go for a Night Slash anyway and hope for the best. There we go. Go for a Night Slash. It's Terror Boosted, so it should be doing a lot of damage to this thing. It nearly gets the KO, which is amazing, as we get a critical hit because of the high critical hit ratio that it has. They go for Assault Cure. That's going to do a lot of damage to us, but we are a Dark type, so it's not going to do too much damage to us. As uh, the Leftover is going to kick in, which is amazing. And the Assault Cure is going to go ahead and just not do much damage to us. I think Salt Cure does more damage to Water types and Steel types, I think. There's the Salt Cure again. Um, it's not going to do too much damage to us because we're not a water type anymore. Night Slash should be able to come through right now and get the KO. If they switch into Dragapult here, then they've just lost. There we go. Night Slash comes through. That's going to be able to get the KO on the Garganacle. Lovely jubbly. Lovely jubbly. So down it goes. Out of its crystal form and back into its Pokeball. So there we go. Nicely done. So we've just got Dragapult to deal with now, which unfortunately does outspeed us and can probably get the KO on us, but... It's whatever at the end of the day. Soul Cure is going to come in, which is going to do minimal damage to us. I, di I didn't realize that lasted after the Garganacle fainted. That's pretty interesting. Right, in comes the Dragapult. So, how do we handle this Dragapult? We don't know what item it is for a start. Let's go for a Night Slash and see. Let's go for a Night Slash and see what they're going to do. They're going to go for a U-turn. Are they locked into U-turn now? I wonder. So they go for a U-turn. That's going to do, obviously, enough damage to KO us. The loser's going to go down. And now I'm wondering what the the life orb... Ah, oh, we saw the life orb earlier. Wait, what? Oh, the Rotom's still around. Oh, no. The Rotom's still around. The Rotom is still around. This is good, though. This is good. This is good. Because, obviously, it can't burn us because of Thermal Exchange. Baxcalibur is safe from burn. Baxcalibur resists both its stabs. We can go for a Dragon Dance and win this one. We can go for a Dragon Dance and win this one. I'm sure we can. There we go. Go for a Dragon Dance real quick. Lovely jubbly. Nice and powerful. That's what we like to see. As the, the, What are they going to go for? They go for a Discharge. Trying to get the Paralysis. Don't get the Paralysis. They don't get the Paralysis. Awesome. Let's go for a Glaive Rush to take this thing out. There we go. Go for a Glaive Rush. Nicely done. Takes out the Rotom. And now we should outspeed the Dragapult. We should outspeed the Dragapult thanks to the Dragon Dance. We should. In comes the Dragapult. Okay. Just need to outspeed. Just need to outspeed and go for a Glaive Rush. That's all we need to do. Outspeed and go for a Glaive Rush. Come on. Come on, Baxcalibur. You can do it. There we go, we have speed, go for a Glaive Rush, that's going to take out the Dragapult, no problems, and that is going to be the game, so thank you for watching today's video, if you did enjoy, of course, leave a like, subscribe, all that wonderful stuff, and with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.